Millars Media, in partnership with Pole Cafe and Pole Espresso Machines, presents quite possibly the oldest German-made Probat coffee roaster in the world. One of only one known in existence, made sometime between the late 1800s to the early 1900s. This rare find was preserved unearthed in a small town in a Serbian farmer's barn. It has survived two world wars. This traditional wood-fired solid cast iron giant weighing in over 12,500 pounds, which has a massive potential of production of over 5 million pounds of coffee per year. Join us for this unique coffee journey. Let's tell the story and preserve this one-of-a-kind historic monument that stood the test of time. Roaster Revival, Roaster Restoration. Hi, my name is Todd Millar and I want to share my experience. And this is our story about how we got in the coffee business. So we've done a little bit of everything. We started out in 1989. We, we built espresso carts, imported espresso machines from Italy, um, started playing with roasting coffee. Um, and then quickly, we kind of grew into a more of a, of a focus on espresso machines. And that was what we really wanted to focus on. So at that point, we had been in Seattle for about eight, nine years. In this industry, I had already graduated from art school. We started just heavily focusing on espresso machine imports and service. And we thought that maybe we could take the knowledge that we already had from up there and bring it back here. Portland was still a little bit behind in this trend of the industry. Um, at that point, we started importing and selling coffee roasters. And when we started selling the coffee roasters, it, it kind of sparked my interest more to take it to the next level. We would tell them, hey, we'll throw in some free coffee just to get you going. So we were roasting this coffee ourselves to give to the people that were actually buying our machines. And we thought, what if we could do something different? What if we could do something more natural? What if we could do something that was organic? Um, we decided that we would start wood roasting coffee and barrel aging coffee. And once we started doing that, um, we, we definitely got more of a, of a better response from our customer base. And because we live in such a rural environment here, we had no lack of the wood to use. Alder, cherry, maple, anything that we could get, even apple, you know, side woods that we would get from storms and different things that would take trees down. It was a perfect opportunity to use the wood and use it to roast coffee, which changed the way our coffee tasted and the way people perceived our coffee. Next, what we started doing is we started building our own espresso machines. Um, we decided there was a need in the market that was different. We wanted to go back to the old espresso machines, the old hand-pulled espresso machines. Everything started becoming more automated. Things were about pressing buttons. People were starting to lose the idea behind what espresso was really for, which was to make personal cups of coffee to, to have an experience. And so what we thought was is, you know, there are different kinds of machines that don't require pressing buttons, which are lever machines, the kind that you pull down to make a shot. It's where they came up with pulling a shot. Um, we really believe with the wood roasting, the barrel aging, which is the way that they used to do espresso, um, we felt like to, to come full circle, we wanted to hand pull espresso and sell those, but there wasn't really a lot of manufacturers in, in Europe making them. So we decided, let's bring back what's old is new. We even have our own coffee talk show called Coffee with the Millars, which is being aired on YouTube. So now we're really excited about our new chapter. We have a great new project that we'd like to share with you, and we'd like to share it with the world. Because we've evolved from every aspect you could possibly go to. We came upon this idea of trying to find a coffee roaster. Um, it's a actual 100 year old coffee roaster. We've got the full capabilities. We have a full manufacturing shop. So we have all the metal working tools, woodworking tools. We have everything to manufacture, remanufacture and refurbish this particular unit. What's behind me is the roaster. Uh, it came out of Germany. Uh, it's solid cast iron. It's estimated to weigh about 12,000 pounds. 
Um, and what's very interesting is it's made by Probat, which is the oldest and largest manufacturer of coffee roasters in the world. And they still exist today. What's very interesting about this one as well is it's wood fired. Now, originally it would have been coal fired, um, but we choose to use wood, obviously, for obvious reasons. Um, so we'd like to take you on the journey and take other people on the journey on how this thing is gonna, we're gonna bring it back and we're gonna revive it. We found it in a barn in Serbia. Um, and it took us two and a half years to actually get it here. It took a long time to negotiate, deal with all the, the customs and all of the, uh, the crazy stuff. We had a huge journey to get it here. Not, not even to mention getting it off the truck was quite, quite hard. This still works. It just needs to be restored a little bit. And this is the story that we want to tell. We want to add this story to the rest of our amazing story that we've been doing for the last 30 years. Okay. You're supposed to find this interesting smile. Okay. Laugh. It's All right. funny. Not so, like, let me share the story. You told the story. Okay, I'm getting ready to no, go. No, you told the story now 50 times. Okay. We did. But, but listen. Well, now we're intending it. No, Just no. calm down. No, I, I we don't. The story okay, well, we don't need to tell that part. Okay. Okay. No, I'm going to just talk about that part. 